the movie mindfulness technique. You're going to imagine that your emotions are on a screen on in a movie theater. So basically, you're going to sit back in your chair or lay down and imagine that all the difficulties that you are experiencing right now, the mood flows, the mind states, you're going to put them on a screen out in front of you. You're sitting kind of in the front row or the third row, and you see all this on the screen and let your imagination flow. Your eyes could be open and you could be picturing it kind of out here, or your eyes could be closed. And as you're picturing it, you're like, wow, let it be colors swirling or let it be a drama playing out. You want to make yourself into an observer. You feel your body pounding in your heart. You're feeling upset. You're feeling a lot of swirling of emotions. That's okay. Imagine that they're on the screen and that you're looking at them. And let your imagination take over and, and it's on the screen. And wow. Like, whoa, that's intense. Look at that. Look at that red. Look at that. Look at that fight happening between those two guys. Like, whatever it is. And now once you, you kind of do that for a little while, you allow yourself to move to the seventh row. You're watching it on the screen, getting distance, observing, witnessing, disengaging. Wow, man, I'm angry. Wow. Whew. Look at that smoke coming out of that, that raccoon's head or whatever you're picturing. And you're going to move from the seventh row to the tenth row to the 15th row, and that movie screen is going to get a little smaller and a little more distant. You know, like finally in the back of the theater, and the movie screen is smaller, sort of like a computer screen now, and it's way down there. I'm just watching like, wow, I can't believe how upset I am, I and mean, why am I so upset? Wow, I'm so afraid, and there's nothing to be afraid of. Look at that. Wow. Whew. You watch it and watch it. You start in the front of the theater, and you move yourself back, and you watch your emotions and your feelings and your thoughts on the screen. And that's it. It's kind of relaxing, and sometimes it's even pleasurable and entertaining. For sure, you can use this technique between a four and a six. It can be very hard to do it that I'm starting to yawn and and get tired. And that's an important sidebar. When you get unhooked from the fight or flight method, method, fight or flight response, um, when your body's in that nervous system of tension and fear and cortisol dumping, it's exhausting. But you're also jacked up and stimulated. So when you unhook and unwind, one of the things that can happen is like I am right now, and I'm unwinding even more, is you'll start to yawn. And why am I yawning? <sighs> it's because all that stress and tension is gone and that exhaustion and tiredness will start to take over because the body wants to recover. If that's happening to you, that's normal, and go with it. And if you're capable of doing it because you're at home or you're on a break, on a leave from work, take a rest. Lay down, listen to some music, and just chill out for a while. Give yourself a break. Don't put pressure on yourself to go through something else. Wonderful. That's a movie mindfulness technique.